So maybe we should start. Uh, thank you for joining. My name is Alec, and my and today with my colleague and friend Igor, uh, we gonna share our vision, our approach on designing the modern uh, and how we design, maintain, produce modern GPU servers uh, in Nebius AI. Few words about Nebius. Uh, Nebius is a group of companies. Our core business is the cloud platform. Uh, we uh, have several data centers across Europe. We have our main R&D hub in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. We have our uh, developers hub uh, across Europe uh, in Israeli and North America. Uh, at the heart of our platform, uh, we uh, were thinking about making life better for AI builders. So they can efficiently build, uh, train, tune, uh, and run their models and applications at a scale. So it is a cloud platform. Even though we launched in November previous year, but right now we already have working, we are working with uh, some of the most interesting uh, players in the AI uh, field. Uh, our in-house hardware and D team designed not only servers and racks, but data centers, the approaches, how it works all together, and uh, how it will be more efficient for our ML and AI users, uh, how this all will be most efficiently working. So efficiently is sust and sustainability is the core feature of hardware we design. So why we choose to design our own server? I tried to mention four main aspects. So, uh, one of most important, it is the sustainability of the server specification. When we take server from the market, it can be from any of the vendor. Vendor can in any time change the specification, the BOM list, the compatibility with any other components and commodity. Uh, for us, it's very important because it impacts the servers what we provide to our clients to have a procurement to have the possibility to have identically the same server for our cloud, even if we build uh, huge clusters for modern AI workloads. Another important, maybe the most one important aspect is the thermal and power efficiency. It directly attaches to TCO. It, uh, it's actually game changer for our OPEX costs. So, uh, to design a very efficient server, it is very important to participate in design of the server from the scratches, to be uh, in a close connection to the team uh, which will be producing this server, and so on. Uh, another problem is the speed of the deployment of the servers. So it's very important to be able not to unpack all the servers, install racks, unpack racks, uh, install it to the places, assemble it all together after that provision and so on. It's very important to, be, to have a possibility of L11. When the rack is already prepared, we just put it to the place, connect power and network and start in working. Uh, the last problem, the last aspect I want to mention is a proprietary firmware uh, when we're working with the servers from the market. Because making changes, if we need some feature for monitoring for some special thing uh, in server, we want some functionality, it is very hard to make quick approach to this functionality. It's sometimes impossible to fix uh, something, uh, for example, in the performance of the uh, API or something. And uh, sometimes when the critical uh, security vulnerability happens, uh, it is very important to fix it as soon as possible. So with the more technical details, here's Igor. Hello, my name is Igor Znamenski and I'm a, a hardware R&D team lead at Nebius. And here is our flagship server, uh, tailored for machine learning uh, tasks and intended to be, to be used in the large AI clusters. 
Uh, currently, it is compatible with uh, NVIDIA H100 and H200 HDX uh, GPUs, but it can be also easily adopted for the next-gen GPUs, uh, such as the Blackwell architecture. Uh, the design was developed with an idea uh, of the simplicity, reliability, and efficiency at the same, same, same time. The problems, uh, to solve the problems which we mentioned on the previous slide, uh, we paid attention to, um, uh, to tool this component installation, to easy and simple maintenance. Air cooling design of the server must, be, must allow the server work at plus 40 degrees Celsius in lab temperature. And also, it must be compatible with OCP v2 and v3 regs right now and for the future. So let's deep dive into the technical details of this server. Uh, there are several different approaches how to connect uh, GPUs and CPUs and network. And we decided to choose the most essential connectivity between these key, key components. And now we can say that this approach, this architecture already has, been, has proven uh, its sufficiency for any of our AI workload. And this is proven not only by our test and uh, validations, but also by our customers. Cable connection problem, but actually a uh, signal integrity problem. Uh, the first issue that we wanted to fix and solve at the very beginning. High-speed signals such as PCI Gen 5 uh, requires a lot of attention to the signal integrity, uh, to the signal stability. And uh, based on our experience, cable connection brings a lot of difficulties and complexity uh, on the every step of server life. In production line, it is required to pay attention to the proper cable connectivity in the server. SOP be become more complex with a lot of points of failure, and that leads to uh, human mistakes during the assembly. Vibration and shaking during the transportation and operation maintenance time uh, also may cause the signal errors. That's why we decided to uh, get rid of all the cables at all and design this simple passive board to connect the most, uh, the most important components, CPU from one side and GPU and network from another side. Uh, we, we designed uh, this board with an Examax connector, which is actually quite robust and stable. And now, over one year, almost one year of the operation, and out of the thousands of servers in our data centers, we may say that we replace only two boards over this huge fleet. And this is incredible results for us. Um, maintenance and the assembly time, a very important aspect for production line and the operation stage. And we literally divided the server by two parts. That's it. The one part is the static part with the GPUs, with the top access. If you need to have access to the GPU, you just open the lid, and here you are. There is a, there is a, these are GPUs. The second part, with the most frequent uh, uh, operations, uh, components, such as CPU, memory, network cards, everything in the bottom side. And this side is the movable, and only thing what you need to do to remove it is to pull the button uh, pu 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 uh, push the button, pull the handle, and remove the tray. And you even do not need to remove this tray from the rack. It can be kept in the chases in the rack. And uh, easy and quick access to the components, it is not only about the time. We love to compare uh, our maintenance of our servers with the Formula One pit stop process. But there is one very important difference. We do not need to so many people to be involved into this process. In our data centers, one engineer can maintain and operate with uh, thousands of GPU servers just by his loan. And uh, this is really simple. And we also care about the data center engineer's daily routine. The servers are heavy. It is more than 100 kilogram, 100, maybe 20 kilogram. And in, in our design, you don't need to, to remove this server from the rack to maintain it. Again, this simple design allows you to, to work with the server in the rack without any additional effort. And let's talk about the thermal uh, design and thermal efficiency. Uh, as we mentioned, our servers work at plus 40 degrees Celsius, which is very important for our data centers that do, do not have a chiller. So we just take air from outside and put it on the server. Uh, that's 
helped us to save a lot of um, energy. And uh, in the server, HDX server, there are two components that uh, draw your attention. The first one is the GPU, the second one is the network card, network connectivity with the transceiver. And these parts must be stable at any time. And the thermal stability, one key point uh, to be achieved. And we decided to divide these sections totally. So the GPU lives in, the, in, in, in its layer. layer and all the rest components on the second layer, and they do not, do not, uh, they do not uh, interfere to each other. This allows us to have uh, different fan types, different fan control. So we, we use different PID logic to control different uh, temperatures on the different layers. And this really brings good result. And here is the real comparison. We did a real test, real comparison of Nebius server and standard 19-inch HDX server from another vendor. The same, comps, the same components, CPU, memory, network cards, all the same. Network and uh, GPU load, all the same. Environment also, the conditions, all the same. And as you can see here, Nebio server consumes an average 20% less energy than other uh, GPU servers. And when you multiply these results over the full fleet and in data center, you can imagine how much electricity we can save. And it is very important to say that uh, this is a real and actual result of the contribution to, the, to sustainability. In addition, our servers also produces less loud. Uh, when, you, when you stand close to the server, you can freely speak to your colleague. You even do not need the air protection. When you stand to the server, close to the server from other vendors, you must have the air protection and literally you cannot, cannot speak. Uh, this is nice to have feature, but this is very important for data center operations. Besides the GPU server, in addition to them, we also designed general purpose server, uh, which is two open units, two open OCP units uh, server, that can be flexibly adjusted to, to be compute node, or inference node with the four GPU server, uh, GPU cards, or it can be flash storage. And flash, flash storage, fast flash storage, is very important for the GPU workload, ML workload. Because when you train your model during weeks, or even sometimes months, you have to do snapshots, and these snapshots must be stable and fast. Thanks to the, a lot of uh, PCI lanes and uh, two sockets motherboard that can provide it. Another thing very important that this design mechanically unified. And on the front side, you can see uh, the models, function blocks for GPU, SATA, NVMe address, and et cetera. And uh, you can easily replace these models in the server. And we already know that this design efficient for our needs, for our customers. But now, today, we are happy to share these ideas, this design with OCP community. And right now, we are working on the first contribution. It will be the base uh, specification contribution, which we are targeting to fin finalize in November. The next step will be design contribution with more details of the server. And to sum up this story, back to Oleg. <laughs> Thank you. So actually, the server Sigur mentioned actually a part of the whole Nebus server family. We have MLAI server, we have flash storage, we have compute, we have inference. Moreover, we have specially designed uh, things for uh, lots of HDDs. But more important, we can install it in the same rack, rack which was uh, provided by OCP. So everything can be combined like a Lego. Uh, having almost the same air consumption for all of our units for the racks uh, as modern, for example, GB200 NVL72, uh, in exception that this thing is totally air cooled and don't need an, uh, any liquid supply. So it is, can be installed in the same data halls. It can be an add on to what we have in ML part and provide us the very quick storage. It can provide us with uh, CPU compute nodes only uh, where we can start 
ordinary virtual machine without GPUs. It can provide us lots of disk storage, the classic one, and so on and so on. It can provide us the nodes for inference and, and moreover. And it can stay all together uh, and work as the, as the whole fleet. And uh, uh, in exception, this part don't need liquid. So uh, call to action, yeah, for the years we are using OCP uh, as the guide how to design servers, how to, uh, how to have an approach of what we're doing. Uh, it, was, uh, it was very important for us. But we are a little bit newbies in, a, how we can say, uh, in the contribution. So as Igor mentioned, we are working right now, and we want to definitely finish in November with uh, general purpose server inference server, and definitely want to uh, finish with ML AI server of its contribution in the uh, end of Q4. So uh, thank you for much uh, for joining. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, we are all available here uh, in uh, in halls, and uh, our GPUs are available in a, through cloud platform. Thank you so much. Thank you.